Uh, I think if you look at uh, Coach Bay's track record, like, it's amazing what he was able to do with that man. Uh, and then, like, just being able to, to have a guy like that with that much confidence in me, like, Coach May was one of the first guys who contacted me after the quarter, so he got on the Zoom on the day two playing the quarter, so he, tried to, he kind of broke down film of him at FAU, and I know he had a uh, guard, Elijah uh, Martin, who was similar to my size and, and uh, capability offensive and defensive, so just seeing how he was able to be successful with all conference players kind of allowed me uh, some insight of what to expect for the future, and even like Coach breaks down film every day, uh, he told me he was going to be the same person, he has never changed up. For me at all, even like that kind of fast play style, like I feel like that's something that I want to play. And I feel like I'll be able to thrive. When um, Coach Coach Mills said this is going to be an enjoyable, team to enjoyable team to watch, enjoyable style of play. This is how to describe it. Yeah, style. Coach May talks very about fast. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some of you guys seeing me. There's some guys where you did. Uh, being able to get shots, get out, uh, get up the floor, and get out of the line a little bit, especially with the two bigs in the game at the same time, we still able to get out of the line. But also just being able to be that tough team, I think we bring a lot of attention, especially at the guards. I think that really introduces group and I feel like very tough guards to be very versatile as well. So I feel like we have to guard many different positions and play different offensively as well. Like we don't have, like I feel like Coach May's offense is very positions. Like just sometimes Danny may bring the ball in the play for that possession. So like it's amazing. Like I never experienced anything like that being able to experience so fluid. First time, I mean, I really so just what I feel like just the best way, whatever Coach May wants me uh, to do. Uh, I feel like I'm capable of, whether it's facilitating or getting to the basket, uh, shooting the jump shot. I feel like I've been uh, light years better than I was last year. So even like I know Coach May's initial initial thought was to be able for me to play in open space and transition. So uh, it's been a big emphasis on me to get on the sideline. So you know guys like Trey and LJ can pitch again and be able to kind of like that Terrence Shannon role where they kind of just threw the ball to him and he just you know stepped and dunked in there. So uh, just being able to get out in transition and, and be able to play fast. A lot of people talk about positionless. They think like six, seven, six, eight guys. What's it like to play with a guy like Danny who's seven foot and can kind of do that? Like, has that been an adjustment for you or does it just make the game easier? Uh, I wouldn't, like, it's definitely been an adjustment because, like, my kind of play style is like, I roam around, the, I roam around a lot. Like, I may play inside a little bit, like, maybe try to finish my room with like, two seven foot guys. Like, it's kind of hard. <laughs> you kind of got to rely on the three point line a little bit, but, like, with what I like about Coach May's practice plan so much is that we play a lot of live basketball. So, like, I've got a lot more comfortable with having them two on the floor at the same time. So, I've been able for me to get different reads. And, like, like I was saying earlier, like, I never had so many backdoor layups in my life. Like, just kind of the spacing that we have and the shooting capability. Like, last snap off, like, three threes. I think I ever that in my life. So, like, just the uh, capability and also playmaking at that four or five spot is amazing, especially with the ability for me to What have the team, what has the team really done in the last few months to try to build that chemistry? Because you guys are all coming from so many different parts of the country, new, old, young, whatever it is. Um, I think we we stay together really well. Um, like I said, Coach Bay's live practice plan, like, just throws you the fire. He doesn't really stop practicing. So he kind of has us figured out. Um, and I feel like we We've got way better than those adversity moments where, you know, where we learn from mistakes really well. Um, I feel like earlier in this offseason, like, we weren't really good at all. Like, to barely make it through a four-minute game not because of how the pace of how he wants to play. So I think we've got, we've been way better in being able to, you know, come together and being able to be more connected. What about, how much does it help with so many new pieces? It's not like Dustin went out and got like star guys that are used to get like, so 15 shots a game, it's kind of like everyone's bad man. He's used to playing well. How much does that help you kind of as a tradition so many, so many new guys? It's it's good. I feel like we with so much versatility on the like everybody's position this and everybody like understands the the concept of what he's trying to you know, accomplish. Like everybody's more unselfish to shoot the basketball and uh, really takes pride in, in defense. So it's like it's easy to be able to you know play with guys like that. So, like, it's a great guy. Defensively, there's a lot of everyone's come from 
different systems, right? You, play, you guys have played college, you played play defense this way. I think even your coaching staff, a lot of them have come from kind of different defensive styles. What's that been like? Have you guys, are you, do you guys kind of have a way you're playing defensively or is it kind of feeling things out? Depending on what the, the lineup is, like we may, we may go drop or flat or, or switch, but like I, like I said, with the practice times, we're really more comfortable to be able to in different ball screen coverages. Like I've been in different ball screen coverage every year I played. Like first year I was in the ice, second year I was in the hedge. Like so it was, it's, it's, it's normal for me to like kind of catch up on the fly, but like through the way we practice, like it's, it's been way easier for us to be able to you know, catch up on so, like, whatever games that we need. Do you feel like this team kind of has the makings to be a good defensive team? Absolutely. I feel like, you know, with me and Amari Trey, I think, no, 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 we are really good in terms of defensively. I feel like we just got to get more connected and more connected, especially in those times when we get tired. I feel like we got to stay connected, but we've made strides in that area. So I feel like Sunday you will be able to see a really good defensive team on the team. It's nice and fun. I think what made it easier for me was that uh, everybody else was experiencing the same thing. Uh, so I like, kind of tagged along with people like Trey and you know, Ruben, who were like everybody. I just looked at it like I was a transfer. Like, I didn't really emphasize where I transferred from. Like, it made it easier for me to be able to accomplish different things like that they were experiencing the same things. Even like those men on the staff. They knew what I was going through, scenario, you know, being like that. to so go from I would, I would say, well, LSU I to be able to go to Michigan. They kind of knew what came behind me, especially social media. So I got to like they, they opened up, they welcomed me as open eyes. Like even some of the attorneys, they kind of took the bright side to be able to play with a guy like me. So I mean, I feel like 